we're gonna have a look at void linux i never used this distro before so let's see if i can find out because i see myself as a complete newbie this game uh, called linux we'll see if uh, i can use void linux at all i'm used to uh, desktop environments cinnamon and gnome xfce and uh, so i downloaded void linux cinnamon edition so let's see if this is something that i can use okay here is the desktop of void linux apparently let's see yeah okay it looks like uh, cinnamon i use in linux mint so what do we have of applications accessories yeah of course nemo nemo is file manager that is used uh, by uh, cinnamon internet we have firefox mm -hmm. okay what version are we running it's 52 so it's older version but of course the iso i downloaded is i believe from november 18 so it is a year old uh, iso so firefox esr is also quite old administration we have terminal okay it uses gnome terminal preferences applets background well it, it does look like a normal cinnamon a normal cinnamon uh, yeah like a cinnamon in mint effects i'm interested to see if it has the same yeah it is it is quite the same backgrounds effects themes I'm not sure. Yeah, it has. It doesn't have all the features that Linux Mint Cinnamon has. There are much more choice in Linux Mint. Look at this. Oh, that way, it, uh, dark. I like the dark theme. Cinnamon. There's only one. Huh. Interesting. Okay, and here we have themes different themes we can download settings show icons in menus no okay so what if i want to is there a neo fetch no there isn't okay well if i want to install void linux i know that we are not gonna find the uh, installer in the menu and definitely not on desktop but i believe that we need to write void installer okay yes it was a sudo void dash installer and we are presented with this guy enter the void Welcome to the Void Linux installation. A simple and minimal Linux distribution made from scratch and built from the source package tree available for XBPS, a new alternative binary package system. Looks fine. Keyboard, set system keyboard. Well, I am using Danish keyboard and that is what we gonna choose if we can dk latin dk i don't know what is the difference set up the network i guess that's fine do you want to use dhcp yeah network is working properly beautiful now let's find out source set source installation package from official remote repository Mm -hmm. well, that was it or what set system host name we're gonna call it void and locale scanning we are in Europe Denmark Danish let's go with that time zone definitely Europe for all of you that is the continent 
between uh, Asia, Africa and America. There you find the good old Europe, if you're not sure. <laughs> uh, Europe. And let's go with Copenhagen. Set system root password. Will do. Okay, user account, set primary username and password. Mm, let's go with Dino. The username. Huh? Like this. Okay, what we want to do? Memberships of groups, wheel. Floppy, audio, CD-ROM optical, that's fine, KVM, the next builder, okay, bootloader, we're gonna go with SDA, use a graphic terminal for the bootloader, why not, partition disks, that's it, see if this will be executed in disk, SDA, mm-hmm, Fine, let's say, and let's choose DOS. Free space, we have a, about eight gigs. And that's what we're gonna use. Let's say new partition size, eight gig, that's about right. Primary, it is primary. And we need to set it to be bootable. It is bootable. And then we only need to write it so it's saved. Oh, are you sure? And we type yes. Y E S. And I think we are ready to go. Hopefully. I think I. Yeah. Partition type Linux. That's about right. Quit. Go. Configure file systems and mount points. Well, that's SDA1. And we want to choose XD. EXT4. Mm, yeah. And uh, the mount point for dev is, of course. Oh, oh man, I'm still an American. American uh, keyboard. What is the. There. There was it. Okay. Do we want to create a new file system? No, we do not. Well, that's a rope. done start installation and we get the warning data on partitions will be completely destroyed for new file systems do you want to continue yeah. okay so now we are going it's pretty fast 17 18 <clears> percent <throat> whoa take a look at this I'm not doing anything 45% in just under half a minute. This is interesting. This is so fast. Really, really good. I've seen I've seen fast installations of Linux, but uh, this one takes the cake. It is really, really, really fast. Look at it. 93%. Oh man, this is so cool to see. Rebuilding in its RAM FS for target. Mm -hmm. and applying installer settings and it's done take a look at this boy do you want to reboot the system no because we have to take out the um the iso and then we're gonna boot the system okay 
Mm, so we'll go out of this and we will end this session. Well, let's do it the proper way. <clears throat> this exactly then we'll go on settings and we will delete this boy removes yes exactly remove it now we can run it again and we have a grub that says void GNU Linux and here we are let's say okay and we are in void Linux um, with cinnamon desktop environment let's see the settings we have some backgrounds do we that waiter doesn't have but we have some here leaves eternal patterns flowers some ice landscapes and the road road again some tree here okay let's go with this ice landscape let's go with sudo it was okay so how many packages size to download okay that's not many okay yes let's see how fast is it it's pretty fast whoa this was fast okay I know it wasn't large amount mm -hmm. okay so we do have that okay so if we wanna if we wanna install something uh, package system where was it there packages And okay, so we use this mm -hmm. So we need to run with sudo xbp install if you want to say neo fetch maybe is it like this? Neo fetch yeah mm -hmm. 66 kilobytes we say yes Let's see if we getting neo fetch yes we do neo fetch and what does it say about our system for linux kernel 4 18 17 one packages take a look at this we have only 451 packages this is a really really minimal installation i like this Mm -hmm. okay so why do we have we don't have much we have Firefox okay we have only Firefox ha <laughs> that's interesting let's try and install what should it be how about audacity audacity they do have modesty. Now let's see if it's in the menu. Sure, it is in the menu. Here we have audacity. It seems to work. Hmm, very cool. I really like how sleek it is. 
very very sleek but the thing is I am just too newbie for this uh, as I can see it needs probably a lot of tweaking and changing in the configuration files and I really uh, don't feel ready for that so I'll stick to Linux Mint for now, which I'll like, really. Signing repositories, yeah, I would like to see how large repository of uh, Void Linux is, packages. Olive, they do have Olive. Well, that's it for now. Um, this is just initial look at the, the Olive uh, Void Linux. Um, I installed it quite easy and, you know, I'm a total newbie in Linux. Um, so this is really interesting little distribution. Um, huh. But of course, um, I don't have the knowledge of, you know, the system behind. <laughs> I know how to install packages, but, you, but uh, you know, how to tweak it, how to edit repositories. But the good thing is, of course, that you can find it here uh, at the Void Linux uh, web page under documentation. It seems to be quite extensive and well written. And it's just a matter of uh, finding the, the, the right um information for you hmm, okay they use reddit void linux well that's about it this is just the initial little look at the uh, void linux looks quite interesting but also a bit scary a uh, user in linux definitely this is something that i would uh, i could see myself checking out much more but sometime in the future because it is really really interesting and what i like about Li void linux is that it's so light uh, and so fast and really doesn't have it doesn't have uh, a lot of uh, packages packages installed look at this 529 packages this is a very small amount I think in my Linux Mint I have around 2,600. Of course, there's a lot of much more um, files and programs I've installed, but still, 529. This is this is great.